Hi again. I'm testing out a solid state electrolyte. That's the gear in there. I've cut one cell out to fit in that cell. The cell's got a piece of aluminium and a piece of flexible carbon. The voltage is 1.34. This um, solid state electrolyte is PVA glue. Um, what is that? 50 mils. PVA glue, 2.5 grams of caustic soda, and 50 mils of ethanol creates that. And then once it sort of dissolves and goes hard again, I um, soak it in potassium hydroxide over a couple of days and then poured it into that bowl and it's gone hard again with all the good stuff in it, the electrolyte and this is the first run of it at the moment it's not a very strong concentration of potassium hydroxide the voltage is 1.3 we'll do a um, short circuit amp reading for a hundred and for a hundred milliamps. Woohoo! That's strong. Bounces back. Not too bad. Again, it's on the 200 milliamp range. I'm going to do a short circuit. 96. I'll hold it there and discharge it, see what she goes down to. Milliamps still dropping. Maybe it holds that 20 again like the other battery. Ah, enough of that. It's frying the poor cell. The piece of aluminium's got um battery separator coated onto it. I've got my power supply hooked up. I'm gonna not put so many volts in it this time. That's the lead. Power lead, add, a, add some power. It's taken over 200 milliamps. On five volts, I might back that off. I wonder where the voltage stays. Voltage is also in the 20 range. So I might go down to 1.5. Crackling though, I can hear it. It's reacting with the aluminium or something, maybe. It's only a new battery, again, we just put it together, or a cell, I should say. I'll try less voltage. I don't think it's powerful enough to run the motor. We'll hook it up and find out. Oh yeah, it's running. It's two and a hundred milliamps. But the voltage is really low compared to the other ones. But that has no carbon. It's just plain aluminium. No, that's dead. Motor's out. Bouncing back up. <clears throat> I'm trying to find an um, electrolyte suitable for my cells. It's 
solid electrolyte seems to be weird. It's very hard to handle. It broke on me trying to get that out of there. It snapped in two. Might have to pour that onto the cell itself when it's fresh, maybe, and let it dry. Okay, the cell goes back to 1.25 volts. I'll add some charge, I think. Really chewing the amperage. I wonder what we're drawing. I'll set it to the 10 amp range. Okay, we're on the 10 amp. Oh yeah, 900 milliamps it wants to suck into that battery. I'll turn the power supply down even more. Okay, we've got 2.4 volts charging up and 60 milliamps. Okay, see where that drops back down to. Just put that back to the um, milliamp range. Okay, see what she's going to draw. Oh, a whopping 100 milliamps. I just stopped. Got the milliamps but doesn't have the voltage. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm going to charge it up and discharge it a few times, see if it improves. Might get that coating going on its surface. Perhaps. Could be another duddy battery. Give it another charge. It's nearly 150 milliamps is going in there. One thing I've noticed, if I hook up the power to the battery to the motor <clears throat> and then hook up the power supply to the motor, you watch the milliamps. The motor's still running off the power supply though, but the interesting thing here is the milliamps goes to zero. Should that not be reading something? Can't work that one out, actually. Oh, maybe not in this case. Might have been something I did last time I did the experiment. The power supply is hooked up there. So it's not coming from that battery. I wish. <laughs> Ah, it must have been a fluke the last time. Last time I did that, it was reading zero amps. 
thought the motor was running. I could have had the voltage up too high, maybe. That wasn't on the right scale of the milliamps reading. Higher the voltage, the less the current, I guess. Disconnect that, it drops. But it has got a hundred and twenty four milliamps. Yeah, record. Uh, I won't discharge the whole lot. I'll leave it as that and see how that cell goes and see if it improves, I'll get back. Okay, see you later. Thanks for watching. It's been an hour with this cell, so I thought I'd just um put a layer of manganese dioxide on it. That's the aluminium sheet after an hour. The membrane's starting to break down on the sides. Alright, I'll put this back together and see how it goes.